In this video, we will uh, use the Arduino Mega together with the NOR flash uh, memory and we will write to it with using the FATFS. Uh, so let's first start off with a, a clean disk. So let's put this aside and let's take our Arduino Duo. And it uses the USB mass storage as a USB disk for the NOR flash. So we got one file and we got the previous example written to it to make sure we can just make a reset to it. Yes, so it's only uh, written to this file, this string, so, okay, fine. So now let's uh, close it up. And right now we will be changing the memories from one board to another. Okay. So we take this piece and this one. So we will write to this memory in our Arduino Mega. So let's put on the power to it. Okay, we wait three seconds. Let's open up. Okay, something printing started. It takes a little bit longer for the Arduino Mega to start up because it has a bootloader. Uh, so, okay. Now we got uh, it right, uh, written, so let's plug out the USB and let's put the memory into this Arduino. Okay, and now let's plug in the USB. And we got another file with something written into it. And this file is created by the Arduino Mega. So now let's uh, go to the project and see what we have there. So this is our basic project. Uh, we got the main here. And we got uh, the clock configuration right here. So board in it. Uh, in the um, next step, we got uh, the IO port in it. Uh, to write the pins we will use, uh, right here I got uh, definitions for the uh, pins, so the LED pin, which is port B, pin 7, the master input, clock, uh, chip select, uh, master output, and the clock the SPI. Uh, and the first thing I do is uh, to write the uh, chip select high, so the device is uh, not initialized for transmission. Uh, next one I added uh, user, uh, the UART for uh, debug purposes. Right here I got uh, a function for initialization of the SPI as master. So 
let's take a look at those functions. Okay, so first on, uh, I'd made a port for the uh, Norflash communication and uh, I made some definitions like the SPI is zero. Uh, so this is the instance of the SPI in the functions below. Uh, the pin definitions for the IO port. So uh, here I declare the UART for communication. Just standard stuff. Uh, and also a few functions for transmitting and flushing data. The UART. Uh, this one is not used, but uh, maybe for future use. Okay, so uh, the SPI initialization is just like so. And here we have the functions for transmitting 8-bit uh, data. So we put the data into the register and we uh, make the clock work and uh, send the data. Uh, and after that we have to uh, read the data from the buffer. So there's nothing left. Uh, and uh, now the receive function. So we put a dummy uh, right uh, to the buffer, something like 0xff, which is the 255 value in decimal, uh, we activate the clock and we read, read from the buffer to a variable and we can return this variable uh, in, as we go out of the function. So. And next one are the functions which are a port from the uh, Arduino Due or uh, the SAM4S. And also I added uh, an SPI select and deselect function. So this basically drives the uh, chip select pin uh, low for select and uh, high for deselect. And here we have the standard functions for uh, communicating with the NOR flash with SPI. So, chip erase. And here we have a uh, example of PATFS write to the memory. So, we write a mega.txt file and we write to there buffer and this buffer consists of uh, a sprint of this value so we always write 70 to it and put there space and also a new line and as in the previous example in the Arduino Duo uh, we wait uh, three seconds to make sure that the power up is uh, complete, there's no power interruption, the system starts okay, so after that making sure we can just make a FATFS write, so nothing goes wrong, we don't uh, do any damage to the FATFS descriptor uh, while doing a write and power down, so we want to avoid, avoid a power down while we do a write to the memory. And after that, uh, there's some LED blinking and also for debug purposes, uh, we read the um, device description from the register and transmit it uh, through the debug UART port. Okay, so let's go to the uh, terminal. Let's connect it. We see some stuff going on here and it doesn't really make too much sense with this speed because on power up by default the speed is selected 
this value. So as we do it so, uh, we keep uh, reading the device description. So that's correct for this device. Okay, but uh, after we do something like uh, resetting the Arduino Mega, we keep getting something like this. And we, that's totally fine because the speed changes on the um, converter of the UART, which is located on the board. So as we do like this, we get the correct answer. So you do it, do this again. And we get the correct device uh, description. Okay, let's click disconnect main. And uh, now let's check out the whatfs write function. So what happens here? Uh, okay, so we open up the file and uh, first of all we read the value from the fmount function if the device uh, mounts the uh, file fatfs uh, correctly it returns zero so first thing we got here is zero then it's uh, a space charter so it's uh, in hex hex uh, 20 value and then we do a f open so after f open we print up the result if it succeeded it will also be zero so we send another zero and another 20 in hex and after that we do a uh, go to the end of the file and then we uh, write the buffer to the file and then close it so as we go back let's click hexadecimal values and now let's click reset board so first thing we got is a 0 20 0 20 so as we can see here uh, we got a successful write to the memory so that's totally fine okay so now let's go and check out what we got in the uh, solution explorer so uh, the only uh, things I added uh, to the project are this, those files. So this, uh, confatfs, confvirtualmem, discioc, discioh, fattime, ffc, ffh, ffconf.h, integer h, and those virtual memory files so the dot c and dot h uh, so also in asfh at the top of the file i added uh, the includes for the files right here and don't forget in the main to put the string dot h and studio dot h for the uh, mem copy, uh, sprint, and so on. Okay, so uh, we go uh, first to the conf virtual mem .h. So right here, uh, don't forget to declare a valid uh, number of sectors for your device. So. I'm using a 16 uh, megabyte uh, NOR flash. So 16 megabyte divided by uh, the sector size, which is 500, 512 bytes, uh, 
makes this value. You can also declare a lower value than this, so you won't uh, use the whole disk, but just a part of it, and the rest will be left unused, or you can just uh, access it by uh, row read and row write. So those functions are a port from the uh, Arduino Duo or the SAM for S. So if you want to add it to your project, just add those files right here. And don't forget to uh, type in the correct uh, value for the uh, virtual memory uh, sector number. So thanks for watching. If you got any uh, questions, uh, just put them in the comments. Uh, I will try to answer them as best as I can. So thanks for watching, see you in the next one.